today I'm sharing with you my mushroom risotto recipe. It is so good. It is lower fat than most risottos are gonna be. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Um, it's ridiculously good. Big fan, my husband's a big fan. Let's make it together, shall we? We shall. First thing you need to do is get some stock going. Now you can use chicken or fake chicken broth, vegetable, whatever you wanna use. I'm going to use this better than bouillon here. This is the vegetable seasoning one. You're gonna want about four to five cups of stock sitting on the back burner. You don't want it too concentrated because it can get really salty. You do not want the stock boiling. You want it warm to the touch. You don't want to be adding cold stock to the rice. First thing we're going to do in our pan here is we are going to lightly saute some onion and garlic. So I'm going to use just a little water for this. I've got about a half a cup of chopped up onions and two large cloves of garlic. In the meantime, we are going to rinse some arborio rice. Arborio rice is a shorter grain rice and it's got great starch. So it's really starchy. I'm going to rinse it just once or twice, not 10 times like I usually would because the starch is really what makes this risotto creamy. Now I'm not trying to caramelize these onions or garlic. I just want to get the rawness off of them. So just a couple of minutes. Now you can choose to saute your mushrooms first. Well, this takes a long time to cook, so I'm not gonna add these in until the end. And this is eight ounces of chopped mushrooms, by the way. Just baby Bellas. Okay, once the rawness is kind of cooked off of that, you're going to toast your rice in with this. Okay, so once this is toasted for just a minute, you're gonna start adding the liquid. So you're gonna turn your heat down to about medium, and you're gonna add about a half a cup of liquid at a time. So it's about two little small ladlefuls for me. And you're gonna stir it, and you're gonna wait until this liquid is absorbed, and then you're gonna add more. You're gonna repeat this process until the rice is almost cooked. Okay, so the rice has only got about maybe three to five minutes left. It's almost completely transparent, and that's what you want. We're gonna add the mushrooms. The mushrooms are gonna release some liquid, so we're just going to mix these in. You've got that salt from the broth, so we're not gonna salt it just yet. So I'm gonna mix in my mushrooms and I'm going to let these cook down and then I'll show you what we do next. So I'm gonna add right now some seasonings to this. So I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of fresh rosemary. You can use fresh thyme as well. It's really delicious with this, but I am gonna add a little bit of dried thyme. Just a little bit. Or you could just use an Italian seasoning blend if you prefer. I also like a little oregano in here. And I always run the dried herbs between my fingers, releases the oils. And then just for some color, we're gonna add some dried parsley. And because sage goes really well with this, can I just a little bit? Some people don't like sage, and if you don't, you can just leave that out. I'm also gonna take this opportunity to add some black pepper. I like a pretty decent amount of pepper in mine. You can even use chili flakes if you like. All right, so now we're gonna to get to adding the soy milk and that's gonna make it really nice and creamy. I'll be honest, it's kind of been sitting out <laughs> since I started this, so it's kind of room temperature, but if it's not, I would recommend maybe just heating up your soy milk a little bit because you don't want it to split. Now I'm adding it when there's still a little bit of water in the pan. I'm not adding it to a completely dry risotto. So I'm going to go in. I'm gonna start with a half a cup. And then once it's absorbed a little bit, I will add another half cup. This is going to make it really creamy. Now, some people like their risotto al dente, so don't add as much broth and stop cooking earlier. I like my risotto really soft and creamy. 
So that's how I'm making it today. But it's again, totally up to you. We are gonna taste it for salt at the end. And then I'm also gonna add right now, just some lemon juice. I squeezed some lemon yesterday. So I'm just gonna add in about two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Want a little acid in there. Okay, so I ended up adding the other half cup of soy milk and we are going to finish this off. We've got about two minutes left here. I'm going to add in some nutritional yeast. You can add vegan Parmesan if you want, but that's high in calories. So we're gonna go in with some nutritional yeast and that's gonna add that little bit of cheesiness that you typically would get from a mushroom risotto top of Parmesan. So I'm gonna add some of that. Mix that in. And I did taste it and it needs this salt. So we're gonna go in with that. All right, so that's it. Let's plate it up. And here it is. This is the whole thing plated up just for the sake of this, but dig in. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on this notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you make this recipe, please tag me. I'm on Instagram at Gishkitspit, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.